like to call the 26th and last regular meeting of the 2019-2020 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The end is nothing but an opportunity for a new beginning. Thank you very much. The clerk call the roll. There are four present here and six attending remotely. Thank you very much. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next, we'll go on to uh, the approval of the minutes from our April 8th meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Thank you for that motion. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, is there any uh, discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I also. <clears throat> Item uh, 4.1 is public forum. City Clerk. There is no one this evening. Thank you very much. Okay. Next, we'll go on to Mayor's announcements. Tonight is the last meeting of our 2019-20 Common Council, and I want to thank the Council for making decisions to approve projects and programs that led to a very successful year. And I also want to commend our administrator, the department heads and staff that implemented these programs and projects. It was a great year for Sheboygan, and it was good to see that the residents of Sheboygan have returned all the incumbent alderpersons back to their positions for another term. I thank the challengers for their interest in participating on the city council. But all of this progress is being overshadowed by the current pandemic. When the infection curve is finally flattened, and decreased, there will be a lot more work to do to help our city recover. The city has received an additional $569,000 allocation from the Community Development Block Grant funding from the federal government. Tonight, we will ask the council to approve a job retention program using $400,000 of those funds to make grants of $3,000 to $15,000 to small businesses that were not able to qualify or receive any other funding from the CARES Act. If approved, the application will be available on the city website, and the program hopes to award grants in early May. This funding is anticipated to assist at least 28 businesses. I would also like to thank Governor Evers and administration for the efforts to protect the health and well-being of all Wisconsin residents. With a special thanks for the state and the Sheboygan County Public Health Department for their help to deal with the COVID-19 outbreak at Sunny Ridge Nursing Home. At Sunny Ridge, all of the patients that tested positive have now recovered and been moved out of isolation. There are three Sunny Ridge employees that tested positive that continue to be isolated. Sheboygan dentists have received personal protection equipment from the supply at the Sheboygan County Emergency Management, and this will allow them to re resume dental surgeries. We will work with the governor to implement the new Badger Bounce Back program with guidelines and criteria to bring businesses back online. This plan calls for sufficient testing capabilities, PPE supplies, ventilators to deal with the coronavirus if there is a second wave of reinfection. These resources should make residents confident that the plan is prudent and that they can return to work or be a shopper in our community. The Sheboygan County Public Health Department has designated a new COVID-19 dashboard that is updated daily on their website. And today that dashboard shows that tests administered, there were 44 positive tests, or 93% of the 670 tests done were negative. There are also currently 12 active, active cases of the 44 total cases that turned out positive, which is 68% or 30 that have recovered. There have been two deaths. And the dashboard also breaks down the ages of the positive cases and shows a graph of the cases that are recorded over time. With the extension of the Safer at Home order by Governor Evers, 
allowing golf courses to resume, the Sheboygan uh, Park Department will open the disc golf course at Valrath Park this Friday. This along with the JC disc golf course that is currently open will allow for more social distancing with the two courses open in Sheboygan. In closing, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Earth Day. And I also would invite you to see the city's sustainability report for 2019 on the city website. Just search for sustainability report and you can see the activities that we've done in that area. Thank you. Next, we'll go on to consent agenda. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion uh, to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. I would also Second. like to. Go ahead. Under discussion. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to pull uh, 2.2 .2 through 2.5 for separate vote. Thank you. There will, those items are before us then. What's your disposition on that motion? Thank you, Mayor. I'd like. For There's no objections to suspension, I take it? Don't see any. Please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like, uh, for 2.2, .2, I'd like to make, make a motion to suspend. No, no objections. Please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to uh, make a motion to adopt 2.2. .2. And then I'd also like to make a um, uh, motion to amend. Okay, the motion uh, needs a second to begin with. Second. Now we have the motion on the floor. Please proceed with your amendment. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to amend uh, the 2.2 uh, resolution to also add further resolving that the deadline for payment of the proposed assessments for parking assessment district one uh, bef uh, before interest occurs in June 1st, 2020. Is there a second? Second. Second. The motion, I mean, are the, the amendment is before us. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Call. <laughs> yeah. and we had to do one for the amendment and then for the resolution as amended right okay the clerk will call <clears throat> the roll then on the amendment all those in favor aye Warren. Aye. Aye. aye opposed Ackley aye aye Aye. Do you want me to call it? Do you want me to open it up? Okay. Oh. Amendment passes. Do you want me to open it up for the suspend and adopt? As okay, amended. now we have a motion uh, to adopt as amended before us. Is there any discussion on the motion as amended? Seeing none. Please enter your votes. Warren, aye. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to item 2.3, Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a, another motion to suspend. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I'm going to again make a motion to adopt, and then, I, uh, then I'm then i also going to make a motion to amend. Okay. We have a motion. Uh, is there a second to second. adopt? We have a second. And please proceed with your okay. amendment. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to amend 2.3. Uh, further resolving uh, that the deadline for payment of the proposed assessments for parking assessment district 2 before interest occurs uh, in June 1st, 2020. Is there, thank you for that motion and second. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, please record your votes. Aye. Or an aye. <clears throat> 
10 ayes. Motion passes. Next is item 2.4, Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to suspend for 2.4. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. Again, I would like to make a motion to adopt and then a motion to amend. Is there a second to the motion to adopt? Second. Please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to make a, a motion to amend 2.4, further resolving that the deadline for payment for the proposed assessments for parking assessment district four before in, interest occurs in June 1st, 2020. Is there a second, second to that amendment? Very good. We have a, an amendment on the floor. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, please enter your votes. Boren, aye. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Item 2.5, Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. Again, I'd like to make a motion to suspend. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to, again, make a motion uh, to adopt and then another motion to amend. Second. Okay, we have a motion to adopt on the floor. Please proceed with your amendment. Thank you, Mayor. For 2.5, further resolving that the deadline for payment of the proposed assessments for parking assessment district five before interest occurs in June 1st, 2020. Second. That amendment is before us for discussion. Seeing no discussion, will the clerk please call the roll. Or an aye. Ten eyes. Motion passes, or amendment passes. Now we'll be voting on the uh, motion as amended. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Bourne. This is Boren. I lost the mayor's voice. <laughs> Can you vote on the amendment? I mean, the amend the motion is amended on two point five. Aye. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Um, I think we have to go back and vote on the amendment to item uh, 2.3 and 2.4. No, 2.6 through 2.14. So on 2.3, um, we need to vote on the motion as amended. Oh. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, please vote on that motion as amended. Boren, aye. Ten eyes. And then we also need to go back and do the same thing on item 2.4, vote on the motion as amended. Please call the roll. Boren, aye. Alderperson Sorensen. Aye. 
10 ayes. Motion passes. Now we're done with our parliamentary procedure exercise. We can go back to the consent agenda. Is there any other uh, discussion on items on the consent agenda? Seeing no discussion, will the clerk call the roll for the remaining items? That's items 2.6 through 2.14. Laura and I. Alderperson Sorensen. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Then we'll go on to reports of officers. That includes items 3.1 through 3.4, and those uh, items will all be referred to standing committees of the new council. Under reports of committees, item, uh, let's see, I skipped a page. Under resolutions, um, Item 4.1 is resolution number 206 of 1920 by all the persons Donahue and Boren authorizing submitting a substantial amendment to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development HUD Community Development Black Grant Program for the 2019-2020 program year. Alderperson Wolf. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to suspend the rules. Is there any objection to suspension? Boren, second. Under dis please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adopt the resolution. Second, Warren. Okay, that resolution is before us. And to get a little explanation on this, I'd uh, like to ask our Planning and Development Director, Chad Pelichek, to give us some background. Thank you, Mayor. So this document that's before you today referen references a grant allocation of $539,956 that the city is receiving as part of the CARES Act in, in an allocation of a program called the Community Development Block Grant CV COVID uh, funds. The city has talked to um, a number of small businesses. As we know, there's a number of small businesses out there that um, are in need of assistance, especially the ones uh, five or fewer employees. So this next document after you allocate these funds in this amendment will be to talk about that program. The other piece of this is to allocate roughly $40,000 towards public service um, entities. So those are primarily nonprofits. Um, I will say that HUD has a very specific definition as to where those funds can be used and a lot of um, the public service funds that have been, uh, the activities that HUD has identified do not pertain to Sheboygan. So we've been working with the nonprofit agencies that um, provide some of those services that meet their definition to see if they've incurred any expenses outside of their normal expenses as it relates to COVID-19. So if that should be an opportunity, we would have at least $40,000 for those entities. If that did not come to fruition, we would come back to you and see if we can reprogram that into the micro uh, enterprise loan fund. Otherwise, the document would come before you before additional funds were allocated to nonprofit agencies. The third item of this uh, amendment is to dedicate approximately $80,000 of administration staff and primarily administering the microloan enterprise program and reviewing applications and making awards to that funding mechanism and then doing the paperwork associated with this additional funding. So that makes up the amount. This is a substantial amendment to our 2019-2020 program year because it's the one that we have currently um, under contract with HUD. Um, and the other item of this is that uh, typically our citizen participation plan requires us to do a 30-day public hearing notice. We can request a waiver to HUD to only do a five-day public hearing notice, so that would authorize staff to send a letter off to HUD requesting that waiver to the five-day. Thank you very much for that explanation. Alderperson Donahue, did you have another question? I was uh, just following your instructions on how to uh, unmute my microphone, but I think I can just do it on my own. So 
as we always say, never mind. Thanks. Th Thank you very much. Any other discussion? Okay, then we have a motion on the floor. Would the clerk please call the roll? Aye, Warren. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Item 4.2 is resolution number 207 of 1920 by all the persons Donahue and Boren authorizing the expenditure of up to $400,000 of CDBG CV funds via the Small Business Emergency Assistance Fund. Alder Person Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to suspend the rules. Is there any objection to suspension? Second, Warren. Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adopt the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Thank second, you. Warren. Item 4.2 is on the floor. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Aye, Boren. <clears throat> Ten eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to reports of committees. Item 5.1 is RC number 331 of 1920 by the Public Works Committee. To whom was referred resolution number 200 of 1920 by Alder Persons Wolf and Sorensen, authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a memorandum of agreement between the Wisconsin State Historical Preservation Officer and the City of Sheboygan regarding the demolition of the Sheboygan Municipal Auditorium and Armory located at 516. Broughton Drive and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. That item is under discussion. Mike. Alderperson I have Wolf. A question, Mayor. Uh, go ahead, Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, in reading that document, uh, is there any time frame on when we will be able to decide what has to be saved and then uh, carry on with the demolition? Turn it over to Chad Pelichek to um, answer that question. Chad? The, the timeline that's, so we've had since the Public Works Committee has discussed this, we've had some further dialogue internally, particularly with the city's purchasing agent, Bernie Romer. Um, the idea is once this document is fully executed, we would uh, bring a professional into the building to see if that, if the removal of the items that they would like to see removed can even be done. And then we would work with Travis Gross of the Historical Society to get those items removed. It would probably be a separate contract uh, independent of the demolition contractor. So um, the timeline on that is um, as soon as possible. And Bernie then will work with the demolition contractor for uh, mobilizing for some demolition to occur probably this summer. Um, provided that we can get the items removed in a timely fashion um, and that doesn't cost us too much money to do that. So I know at, at the committee level there was some discussion about what is too much and, and those types of things so we're hoping to have more information but we feel we at least need to get this contract with the Wisconsin Historical Society executed to give us some direction. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I, I just wanted to point out and thank everybody that's worked on this. Uh, I know this has uh, been a long, a long path. Um, we've tried to uh, take some different turns on, you know, preserving this this uh, this property and this uh, this piece of history for Sheboygan. But I think ultimately, at the end, I think this is going to be a great opportunity for us to preserve it. And uh, working with the uh, Wisconsin State Historical Preservation and Travis and his team, I think this is going to be a, uh, a great collaboration that's going to have a good outcome in the end. So thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Chad, I, I guess I, got a, I have a follow-up question to Alderperson Boren's question, um, just in regards of timeline. Just with, with the national pandemic going on, has, has the 
I guess the demolition area been impacted at all? Are contractors still able to to um, to accomplish that? Or if there's like a timeline push back because of other projects getting shuffled around, or I, I just didn't know how this the pandemic would influence the timeline at all. I don't think the pandemic has had any issue as any reflection of it. Okay. The contractor it was willing to hold his price from a bid last year, um, so the idea is to execute that agreement and get going as soon as possible. Okay, and then just a, another follow up question in terms of um, development of the property once that is done. Um, um, what is, is there going to be general, what's that process going to look like? How we reach out to developers and, and get... That process is probably going to be up to you. We've decided internally we'd like to get the building uh, demolished and get that all cleaned up first and then uh, decide if we're going back out in RFP and what the request for proposals might look like for the type of development we'd like to see there. But I think at this stage it's nothing has been um, confirmed as to what the future of it would be. Um, and I think that'll be a further discussion with the new Common Council. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Seeing no other discussion, will the clerk please call the roll? Aye. Warren. <clears throat> Ten eyes. Motion passes. Next item is 5.2, which is an RC number 332 of 1920 by the Public Works Committee, to whom was referred direct referral resolution number 201 of 1920 by Alderpersons Wolf and Sorensen, authorizing the F3 Marina to renovate the Harbor Center Marina second floor and authorized the appropriate city officials to execute the First Amendment to the Harbor Center Marina Agreement with F3 and recommends uh, adopting the resolution. <coughs> Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Hi, <clears throat> Warren. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is uh, RC number 321 of 1920 by the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee, to whom is referred RO number 147 of 1920 by the City Clerk, submitting various license application and recommends to refer change of premise application number 2273 to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee of the 2020-2021 Council. Alderperson Sorensen. Yeah, it's being referred. It's just being referred. Hmm? That's just a referral. I'm sorry. Moving on, that will be referred to the uh, licensing hearings and public safety committee of the new council. Under matters <coughs> laid over, item 6.1 is RO number 152 of 1920 by the City Planning Commission, to whom was referred General Ordinance number 43 of 1920 by all the persons born in Wolf, and RO number 146 of 1920 by the City Clerk, requesting an ordinance amendment to the City of Sheboygan's official zoning map of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of property located off of South Business Drive, parcel number 59281471031 from class suburban residential to class neighborhood commercial classification and recommends receiving and filing the RO and adopting the ordinance. Alderperson Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, motion to receive the R RO and adopt the ordinance. Second. We have a motion and uh, support on that one. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? I'm sorry, uh, Chad, did you want to add something on that? Yeah, so the next couple documents are related to the Warner subdivision. Um, you'll recall that uh, back in March, I think it was March 2nd, we held a public hearing for these documents, and then the documents were held because of a re-layout of the roads. 
uh, based on the discussion on the parkland. So the developer will be coming back to the Planning Commission with updated, draw, updated plans for the preliminary plat that re align the roadways kind of around this uh, parkland. So the plan is to leave that 3.7 acre parcel as park. Um, and then the, the new kind of layout is such. So this is to kind of pick up that process. The uh, zoning documents were still reflected of their new layout that's coming forward. Um, so the idea was to get these approved and then we'll be working through the Planning Commission on the preliminary plat approval for the new layout. Thank you for that information. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Aye. Boren. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Item 6.2 is RO number 153 of 1920 by the City Planning Commission. To move is referred General Ordinance number 44 of 1920 by Alder Persons Boren and Wolf and RO number 146 of 1920 by the City Clerk requesting an ordinance amendment to the City of Sheboygan's official zoning map of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of property located off of Menning Road parcel 59281471051 and parcel number 59281471040 and parcel number 59281471035 from class mixed residential mixed uh, residential to class suburban residential classification and recommends receiving and filing the copy of the RO and adopting the ordinance. Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, motion to receive the RO and adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion in support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Aye. Boren. <clears throat> Ten eyes. Motion passes. Item 6.3 is RO number 154 of 1920 by the City Planning Commission, to whom was referred General Ordinance number 45 of 1920 by Alder Persons Born and Wolf, and RO number 146 of 1920 by the City Clerk requesting an ordinance amendment to the City of Sheboygan's official zoning map of the zoning ordinance to change the use district classification of property located off of South Business Drive, parcel 59281471031 and parcel number 59281471051 from class suburban residential to and class neighborhood commercial to class mixed residential classification and recommends receiving and filing the RO and adopting the ordinance. Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, motion to receive the RO and adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> Aye. Boren. Ten ayes. Motion passes. Uh, next is a contemplated closed session. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in section 19.85 sub 1 sub e, Wisconsin stats, where competitive and uh, or bargaining reasons require a closed session related to a possible loan to the Wasserman Redevelopment LLC for property located at 611 North Water Street. Will the clerk please call the roll for closed session? Yes, second. Is there a second? second? Aye. Warren. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Uh, council will uh, go into closed session. After closed session, we'll reconvene and come into open session to make a decision on this item. We'll take a brief recess to set everything up.
Okay, the council has reconvened in open session and um, I'll ask uh, Alderperson Wolf to make a motion. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to make a motion uh, to authorize a bridge loan line of credit in the amount of $1,472,500 for a term of 60 months for the City of Sheboygan General Funds to the Sheboygan Housing Authority with the understanding that the proceeds, proceeds of the bridge loan line of credit will be loaned as needed by the SHA to to the development with the debt service repaid, utilizing a portion of the asset repositioning fees, demolition, disposition, transition, funding allocated by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for its upgrade to the Eugene Wasserman Apartments and from Sheboygan Housing Authority Reserves and the authority authorize the appropriate city officials to execute the necessary documents consistent with this plan. Thank you for that motion. Is there a second? second. Okay, uh, we have motion in support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Aye. Warren. Motion passes. Uh, next item on the agenda is adjournment. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn Senadia. Is there a second? Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Would the clerk please call the roll for adjournment? Aye, Boren. Motion passes. We stand adjourned. Thank you very much.